everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to share with you the finished loaded pockets, all filled with ephemera. So I shared these ones um, a little while ago now. I've done a tutorial on how to make these. And in that tutorial, I made these six loaded pockets. And so then during a live, I filled them all with all the goodies. So I just wanted to come back on my channel and share with you how they all look now that they are filled up. So lots of goodies, <laughs> lots and lots of goodies inside. It, it probably doesn't do it justice um, seeing it like this. When you take it all out, you can really fully appreciate all the things inside. But because it's a loaded pocket, everything is kind of um, overlapping and some things might be hidden. But yeah, we've got washi stickers, we've got vellum, we've got labels, we've got these cute little papers, we've got, oh, I love these stamp thingies, it's like a surprise when you pull everything out. We've got collage papers, vintage style papers, and some of my handmade tags as well, and they all come with a Bowen postcard. <laughs> um, just a little surprise bonus at the back in every pack, and even though they're all designed slightly differently, they all have the same amount of things, the same types of things in the journals. So they all have two of my handmade tags with the vintage papers. They've all got the same amount of labels, stickers, all that kind of thing. So yeah, these are cute little stamps. These ones here, I think I'm getting a bit lost. <laughs> but some butterflies and I think there's some dragonflies and some flowers. I love these vellum pieces too. Some of the vellum pieces are just for collage, others um, are actually sticky, so they're stickers. And yeah, I had so much fun making these. Hope you can have fun making them at home. These ones are the ones where all the pockets are on the front, and I just had to um, yeah overlap a lot of the things. Whereas these ones had a lot more pockets spaced out so I could um, yeah put more individual items in each of the pockets so I love the florals I kind of went for a floral theme on one side and more of a vintage theme on the other loosely <laughs> so or more of like a colorful theme on one side and the neutrals on the other and I just love the floral side here vintage is cool too so I put these ones on the vintage side, not that there's a side, but <laughs> that's just the one side. But yeah, love it. Oh, gotta make sure they're nicely layered. You can see everything. So they are available. They are in my Etsy shop. So feel free to snap one up. Um, I am filming this now though, because three people have claimed one. So, um, I will go ahead and package those up. Also, some of them are going to some of my patrons as well. So we'll see how we go, how many are in my Etsy. But yeah, go check out the link down below in the description box. Um, they are going to all just be the same price, even though they're different designs and some have more pockets than others. Since they all have the same amount of ephemera inside, um, they're all just going to be the same price. And it's going to make it so much more easy for me. And it will just be random which one you're sent. So sent at random which one. So yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed this little project. Give it a try at home with your paper bags or go on the hunt for some paper bags. I got these from NBeads. I'll leave the link to NBeads down below as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. A big thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in July and allowed me to work full time on this channel for yet another month. If you would like to become a patron in August and get access to videos, printables and sneak peeks, first access to all my creations at the Ruby tier, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy plus a new one every month. There's also personal updates and behind the scenes looks. So feel free to sign up the Link is down below in the description box.